The Indian Navy successfully fired the ship-launched version of the BrahMos supersonic missile in the Arabian Sea. It was a precision strike. But what's the secret behind the perfect accuracy of this missile? What's the Indian military preparing for? I'm Shivan Channa. Let's get to the point. The Indian Navy test-fired the ship-launched version of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. It was equipped with an indigenous seeker and booster designed by India's Defence, Research and Development Organisation, DRDO. Testament to India's growing Atmanirbharta or self-reliance in terms of military prowess. The details available suggest that the missile test was carried out by the Indian Navy from a Kolkata-class guided missile destroyer warship. Kolkata class or Project 15A are a class of stealth guided missile destroyers constructed for the Indian Navy. Kolkata class comprises of three ships, INS Kolkata, INS Kochi and INS Chennai. They are the largest destroyers to be operated by the Indian Navy. The missile was aimed at an undisclosed target in the Arabian Sea. The test showcased the accuracy of the missile in taking out targets in the ocean as well. Earlier, the anti-ship version of the supersonic cruise missile was successfully test-fired jointly by the Indian Navy and the Andaman and Nicobar Command in April of last year as well. BrahMos missiles can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft or land platforms, acquiring speeds of 2.8 Mach or almost three times the speed of sound. The Philippines has already procured the BrahMos missiles from India. Indonesia is in advanced stages of securing a similar deal with India, with Vietnam, Singapore and Malaysia queuing up as well. Reports suggest UAE, Saudi Arabia are also considering, while Egypt, South Africa and Brazil have all shown keen interest in the BrahMos missiles. The Indian Navy is conducting regular tests and showcasing its strength and pinpointed precision for all to know, especially some neighbours. There is a Chinese presence uh, in the Indian Ocean. They have been there since 2008. We uh, keep uh, close surveillance on the activities in the Indian Ocean region. That is our job. 